Joining us from the United Kingdom is former stationary stars and Enugu Rangers player, former assistant coach of FC United of Manchester, and now the Eng an English Football Association coach educator and mentor, Chooks Akuneto. Glad to have you join us, Chooks. Right, um, there are three local players, two new names. Um, do you think this is the best Nigeria can boast of going to the World Cup? The best 30 players in Nigeria? I think from the you know, coach's uh, perspective, you have to pick those players that have actually played through the qualifying, that have formed a good group. You need a core to get headliners. And you need to you know, pick from the home base as well to give relevance to the league at home. So I think it might be a good list. I think he's done well. Well, Simeon Nwankwo, more like um, a late bloomer coming to the World Cup, won't a player who was not part of the labor of the qualifiers not cause divisions in the team, both mentally and tactically, if you talk about selecting players who uh, went through the qualifiers for proper bonding every if you have a look at uh, every every squad there has to be one player that have actually broken through if not player what you are telling us is that those players there was nobody that actually sprung up in your league of anywhere in the world every country will have at least one uncapped player or a player that's got two caps that that's that just shows that somebody somewhere has just has just has just done quite well so i don't see any any problem in that now what do you think nigeria can achieve with these players this set of players 30 of them eventually uh seven will be dropped uh, what do you think nigeria can make out of this can we get as far as the semi-final <laughs> i think uh, i think the actual team is a very good uh, you know, group. Not fantastic individually, but as a you know, group, they have actually been together. I think if they get to the second round, I'll be happy because that is a very hard uh, group to get out of. And it's a young group, but they will get better. I'll be looking if we can keep the core of this group together for the next four years, they might do better, but it is a you know, good group. But I will not put too much pressure. On them. So what do you think Coach Gennett Ross should do to make the team as good or better than you think? He is doing well. He is doing well. Nigeria is a very difficult country to, to, to manage or coach. But it has a broad calm. He's a broad calm. He's brought togetherness. He's used Mikel Obi, whom I respect a lot for his mentality and his mannerism around people. He has rallied those players together. You can see them play. You can say, as a coach, when I watch them play, I can see that they're together. There are no big egos. They are together. You can see love. So he's done that, which is very important in competition. Because you're going to live together. You're going to feed together. You're going to, you're going to adapt to having people with you 24 hours a day. And togetherness is a very important aspect of a, of a competition football. Okay, to where you are now, no World Cup for Joe Hart and Jack Wilshere, but England has named on Caps 19-year-old Liverpool defender Trent Alexander-Arnold in the 23-man squad for Russia. Well, I guess that's exactly what you're talking about. One player, one uncapped player, one player who breaks through. Yes. Um, is this the best England can have? Jack Wilshere, Joe Hart not being there. Um, so you have to look at, at now, as a coach, I'm speaking as a coach, you have to look at now and you have to look at the actual future. If Joe Hart is not going to be in net, and he's not going to be first choice, after in 75 caps, would you rather take him to go and sit on the bench? Some other coaches will say, yeah, I would just put it. Or will you give somebody else, a 19-year-old, 20-year-old goalkeeper, Nick Pope, the opportunity to go there and sit on the bench and learn. It might be England's first choice in in seven years' time. So either way, people will not be happy. But the coach 
as a, you know, choosing to go with that. Jack Wilshere's problem is the antecedent. During the last World Cup, he wasn't very fit. And now he's not shown enough fitness. If he were fit, Jack, Jack Wilshere is arguably, for me, the best central midfield player in England. But the you know, coach has actually called it how he has uh, called it. I would have taken him because I love him, but, but the coach has actually chosen not to go with him. Trent has had a wonderful season, keeping out an, an English fullback, an international fullback, and he's, he's done well against everybody in Europe. So he's played Champions League. He's shown he can actually compete at that level, mentally, physically, technically, tactically as well. So why not? All right, thank you so much. Uh, Chuks Akuneto, former stationary stores midfielder, former Enugu Rangers midfielder, and a coaching instructor with the English FA, giving us a lowdown and analysis of the Nigerian squad to the World Cup, the 30 man provisional list, and of course that of England. That's all of sports at this time. Back to Ngozi and Mike.